Feral Gas Friday is brought to you by Feral Gas, your hometown propane provider in Ovid and Kander, New York. Hello and welcome into another edition of Feral Gas Friday. Today down here with Nathan Pellegra. Nathan, uh, thank you so much for taking time out of your busy day to uh, catch up with us here on Feral Gas Friday. Thanks for having me. Well, as we do every week, uh, we want to talk a little bit about learning the experience here in Elmira. Of course, you uh, came through from a trade from Danville. And what's been your experience like in living in here in Elmira? It's been good. You know, uh, this team means a lot to the town, so it's been very exciting to play for the for the, the town, and uh, you know, excited to get playoffs going here. Now, of course, you had a stint up in the SPHL as well, so you've had a few different arenas you've gotten to see. Uh, obviously, in the Federal Hockey League, this is one of the bigger ones. Uh, what has your experience with the first arena been like versus where you played elsewhere? Uh, it's been first class <clears throat> ever since the moment I've gotten here, so. Everything's been phenomenal from the ownership, coaching staff, training staff, and uh, front office all together. Great. And now you've been able to take part in some of the community events and activities. Um, what's it been like to experience that as a player, especially for a town that maybe not is uh, as familiar to you guys when you come in here? Um, I actually think it, I've been kind of shocked with the amount of people that uh, recognize not only the team, but who I am as a person. They're telling me that they see me on the ice and they know how I play and they know which number I am. And it, I'm actually kind of impressed with the amount of support we get from uh, the community. Now, when you see that compared to places you've played elsewhere, uh, is that completely different or is that uh, kind of just part of that Northeast mentality out here? Um, in the other places I played uh, in this league, um, no, I mean, it's not at the fans weren't as familiar, but when I was out in uh, Quad City, it was very similar, but I just didn't get a chance to get out in the community too much there because I was there uh, for, for a brief time. Now, being here, of course, uh, it's a little bit different when you ha come in later in the season. You don't get to build those relationships with all the guys from the get-go, but this team always has seemed to be really tight-knit and uh, really kind of everybody all for one, one for all, if you will, in that mentality. Was that easy to adjust to coming into a team like that that had already been around for a little bit? Yeah, for sure. I felt like uh, I fit in right with right with the guys right away. You know, they accept they accepted me right off the get-go, and uh, everything's been great. Awesome. Now, uh, I always ask this on Feral Gas Friday. Is there a hot spot around Elmira that you like to hit that might be a place if fans are looking to catch a candid moment that you might be uh, hanging out at? Uh, the only place I could say is uh, Tioga Downs. Go to Tioga Downs. What's your favorite thing to do down there? Uh, probably hit the blackjack tables and uh, hopefully uh, get lucky. Well, tonight, uh, of course, uh, always a fun night to spend down at Tioga Downs, but tomorrow a big game, a huge last homestand here as you play the Mentor Icebreakers, the other new expansion team in this league. Uh, as you guys get ready for that, of course, uh, the playoffs are coming up. What's the focus, what's the message throughout the locker room during this week where you're really talking and focusing on the playoffs for maybe the first time? Um, you know, just uh, start getting the ball rolling and start being, start uh, disciplining ourselves and uh you know, make sure we're doing the right things, you know, to uh, get the team ready overall to be, to compete in playoffs and uh, compete for the championship. Now, a question for you here. The uh, mentor icebreakers obviously sitting outside the playoffs. They're not going to make it in their first year. The enforcers do. Uh, how much of the message has been about staying healthy, getting healthy, and uh, really providing an opportunity to have a long run in the second part of the season, if you will? Yeah, you know, uh, we got a couple of players sitting out, you know, to, uh, you know, make uh, – you know, to get some rest on those injuries and, uh, you know, get fresh for playoffs because, you know, we, the playoffs is so short and we need guys at 100%. And uh, we're fortunate enough to lock up second second spot in the, in the, in the standings. So, um, yeah, um, just trying to uh, get healthy and get, get everything going. And you've seen up first arena, obviously, up close and personal when it's packed and uh, the kind of atmosphere that is – with the home ice advantage, do you feel like that might be a little bit more of an advantage with the way First Arena can get rocking out here? Yeah, of course. You know the fans always bring it when we come here. Uh, Foos pumps up the crowd a lot. He gets some real. He gets some going. Like he, he loves it, and uh, I, I feed off of that. So it should be great. All right. Well, thank you to Nathan Pellegra. This has been Feral Gas Friday. We'll see you next week, right here on YouTube.